Hey guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of cleaning or maybe a little bit of maintenance here on my truck. It's something that I've kind of been putting off for a while, but it's the long holiday weekend, so I finally had time to do it, and that is cleaning my drum brakes from surface rust. I've actually only done this once on my truck before. It was actually in one of my videos where I was replacing my rear shocks, but I didn't do a really thorough job because I was focused on replacing my rear shocks. So today we're gonna do a little bit more of a thorough job and get that surface rust off of these drum brakes. Now, if you're wondering, my Tacoma here is a 2019, so it's only two and a half years old. And also I live in Southern California where it doesn't get snow or really salt, which is the big contributor to rust. So the surface rust buildup really isn't that bad. Although I did spend one winter in New York and that accelerated the process a little, but as you'll see, my drum brakes aren't too, too bad. So I'm only gonna be using a couple of different tools I have laying around at my house, as well as a couple of different products if you guys wanna follow along and do this on your trucks or drum brakes at home. The result isn't going to be a night and day difference, but I will say that it'll be a about 90% better than what it already is. And if you're wondering why I'm even doing this in the first place, this is basically just to prevent rust from spreading and also the drum brakes will look a lot nicer and you can see them through your wheels. So it's been something I've just been wanting to do when I had extra time and now I do. Okay, so anyways, let me show you guys what products I'll be using. Okay, so we really only need two products and the main thing we're gonna be using is super clean. This is a degreaser and the specific super clean I have here is the foaming type that comes in a can like this. And I'll have all of this stuff linked in the description box down below, but you can find this at a ton of different places like Walmart, AutoZone, Amazon, Ace Hardware, a lot of different places. But yeah, this is the main thing we'll be using to remove all of this surface rust. The second and last product I'll be using is some brake cleaner. Now, I just have this generic brand from AutoZone. You could probably get away with not using this, but this thing does a really good job of drying quickly. So when we're done using the super clean, as you'll see, it's nice to use this stuff to just kind of finish it all up. For my tools, I have a couple of different wire brushes. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, if you just use wire brushes, this is going to be a lot of effort. So the harder the bristle, the better it's going to be for you, but to make my life easier, I have this wire brush attachment to my Makita gun, and I also have a wire wheel attachment, and this seriously makes life 10 times easier. You're also gonna want a microfiber towel, a drain pan, and mine is used because I already did the other side. I'm just gonna put that there right now. And last, you're gonna wanna make sure you use PPE. So I'm gonna be using gloves and you can also use a mask if you want. Okay, so this is a before. You can see that there is a decent amount of surface rust buildup on this brake. And what's kind of funny is you can see the kind of like imprints from my wheel. Obviously the brake and the wheel have a little bit of space in between them so like moisture can get inside and that's what these different patterns between each of the threads are. So by the time we're done hopefully we won't see these little rust patterns anymore and hopefully the brake will be a little bit more uniform and closer to like what this looks like in color. Okay, so first up, I'm gonna hit this brake with my super clean foam. Now you can also use super clean that comes in the spray bottle, but I think the foam is better for this application because it covers a larger surface area. I'm gonna let that dissolve for a second. So you can already kind of see a little bit of the rust coming off, but nothing's gonna really happen until we actually hit this with a wire wheel or a wire brush. Then kinda after this first initial scrub down, I'm gonna just use my microfiber towel cloth to wipe off the brake 
We're not gonna really see that much of a difference here because we're gonna need to put a little bit more elbow grease into actually getting this surface rust off. So I'm gonna hit it with my Makita gun and a wire wheel attachment or a wire brush attachment. It already looks a little bit better though. This one's cleaning up even better than the other one. So as I'm attacking the rust with my wire wheel and you can start to see the break look a little better, I don't do this in the video, but if you wanna take it a step further, you can definitely use high heat paint when you're done for an even better look, but I just kept mine this way. In fact, I daily drive my truck and it's actually been a few months since I filmed this video and my brakes still look good, but yes, they'll eventually develop surface rust again over time. So if you're concerned about that, you can use high heat paint. All right, so we got a lot of the surface rust off with just this attachment alone, but there is still some surface rust in these hard to reach places. So I wanna to switch to this wire wheel attachment. I know this is going to come up as a question in the comments, so I might as well address it. Anytime I make a video that shows my rear brakes, everyone wonders why Toyota still uses drum brakes in the rear on these newer Tacomas. My guess is because of costs. To me, they're fine, but leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. All right, so as you can see, we've taken off maybe 85 to 90% of the surface rust. There were some areas that the wire wheel couldn't reach and I didn't have a small enough brush to get. So that's why you can kind of see still some of the brown or orange spots underneath these threads. But overall, it's not too bad, much, much better than before. So now I'm gonna get on to my last step, which is going to be using our brake cleaner. All right, so this thing is fast drying, so we shouldn't need to wipe it down, but I'm just gonna spray it all over and that's basically it all right so that's pretty much it you guys i hope you enjoyed this short little video and this small little easy project this is something i just like doing about once a year it's nice to have your drum brakes looking nice and brand new again and it doesn't require a lot of tools or time which is nice thanks again for watching if you want to connect more with me you can follow me on my instagram it is at chloe kuotako i post more in real time on there but other than that i hope i'll see you in the next video bye guys <laughs>